Bottom of the first, scoreless Carlos Pena is going to strike out swing to end the inning. Now, Pena is their top home run and RBI guy. He did leave the game with slightly blurry vision. He scratched his eye at home. He's expected to be able to go on Friday in game two. Evan Longoria, that's the first playoff pitch he's ever seen from Javier Vasquez. Knows what to do with it. Not exactly where Vasquez, in a big game, wanted to put that pitch. Longoria. The youngest American League third baseman at a postseason home run since Gil McDougal back in 51. McDougal was 23, Longoria is 22. Top of the third, still 1 0. Two on and two out for Dwayne Wise, and Wise gone. One of the few mistakes James Shields would make. 3 1 White Sox, looking good, Chicago. Bottom of the third, Akinori Omura. Hits one of the wall in center. That's going to get over Ken Griffey Jr.'s head. Jason Bartlett would score. Ewer Mura in the third with a triple. He would score on a sacrifice fly. So we're tied at threes in this bottom of the third. Here's Longoria again and again. Get out of town. Longoria, the second player to hit a home run in his first two postseason at bats. Gary Gaetti, his AAA hitting coach, the other. This time it's a breaking ball and Longoria bends it right over the wall. Wow, Longoria getting it done. It's Longoria in the bottom of the fifth. RBI single, Longoria three for three. Two home runs, three RBIs. That'll be it for Vasquez. His fourth straight start going less than five innings. All of them lost four to third, eight hits, six earned. Next batter, Carl Crawford. Back in the lineup, first time in some two months, had the finger injury. That's an RBI single. Crawford would say afterwards, it feels like you're in a dream. Playoff baseball in Tampa. St. Pete, top of the seventh. Base is loaded for Juan Uribe facing Grant Balfour. And Balfour against Uribe. Balfour trying to protect a three-run lead. Now watch this. First pitch way outside. Orlando Cabrera kicks some dirt. And they start talking to each other. Cabrera said afterwards, he was responding to something Balfour had said. Balfour had said, hey, that's just how I get fired up. So everybody's all fired up. Umpire Joe West did a good job keeping everything calm. The 2-2 pitch, Balfour gets Cabrera and tells him, sit down, or, or something along those lines. To the ninth we go. You know they have no Troy Percival left off the roster for this round. Back tightness. Dan Wheeler in to close it out or not. Paul Conurco in that wacky place known as the drop. That counts as a home run. White Sox down 6-4. A.J. Brzezinski with two down, and Wheeler gets Brzezinski to fly out the center to end it. The Rays win 6-4. Nobody's kicking sand on Tampa Bay anymore. Get it going in front of a sellout crowd of over 35,000. James Shields, a quality start. Rays were 19-3 in the regular season when he had such starts. But this is the postseason, and the answer to the question everyone asks, the Rays senior VP John Higgins throughout the ceremonial first pitch. He's the franchise's first ever employee. As for Longoria in his first ever playoff game. So Cabrera leading off the White Sox, second pitch of the game. Deanna Navarro set up outside. And Cabrera drilled in the leg. Casimir hit only four batters in the regular season, so doesn't usually have control problems. After Nick Swisher walked, Jermaine died with a base hit. Cabrera held at third, so bases loaded, nobody out. Casimir in the jam. Paul Konerko popped out. Jim Tomey up now. Base hit. Cabrera coming around to score. White Sox jump out in front 1-0. 2-0 now. Base is still loaded. Two away. Juan Uribe with an opportunity. But Casimir got him. 37 pitches for him. Chicago sent eight batters to the plate, but they only got two runs. That's all he gave up in five and a third. Bottom second. Rays with a run on first. Rocco Baldelli line drive. Alexi Ramirez tries doubling Ibar off first, but the throw gets away, goes into the Rays dugout. Ibar over to third. Next batter, Navarro. Base hit. Ibar scores. Rays cut it in half. They trailed two to one. We go to the fifth. Runner on for Akinori Iwamura. Off Mark Burley. Sayonara. Two-run shot for Iwamura. Got himself a curtain call at Tropicana Field. And Tampa Bay up 3-2. Sixth inning now. Runner on second for the White Sox. Highly anticipated rematch. Balfour versus Cabrera. But it turned out to be pretty anticlimactic as Balfour gets him the routine ground out. Balfour got out of the inning. Chicago stranded his ninth base runner of the game. And that was the theme. Top seven, White Sox with two more runners on. J.P. Howell gets A.J. Brzezinski to ground out. 11 runners left on base for Chicago in seven innings. We go to the eighth. 
Howell still doing his thing. Uribe. And Powell just made him look bad. Brian Anderson throws him. Nick Swisher, may I help you? No thanks, I'm just looking. Howell, two innings of one hit ball in relief. Bottom eight now. B.J. Upton. That one's going all the way to the wall. Upton can move into third. Lead off triple. And the Rays try to tack on another one. Next batter is Carl Crawford batting in Pena's spot of the lineup. Base hit. Upton coming in. Rays up 4-2. Burley, seven innings of work, ten hits, and five runs. That was the end of his night. Later in the inning, Rocco Baldelli off Octavio Dotel, who came in in relief. Crawford scores. Rays add one more, and they go in to win it 6-2. So they're up two games to none now on the White Sox. They'll try to complete the sweep on Sunday as well. Series shifts to Chicago. It'll be Matt Garza for Tampa Bay against Chicago's John Danks. 35 teams have gone down two games to none in best of five division series. That was before this season started. Only five have come back to win. After game two, Howell talked about the pitch that struck out Swisher in the eighth. Of this series on the south side, White Sox trailing one zip. They left 12 on base in game two. A.J. Pruszynski singles to center field. Dwayne Wise scores. We're knotted up at one. Bottom four. Chicago now has assumed the lead. Two on runners on second and third. Wise goes the other way. It's a good piece of hitting. Paul Canerco, Ken Griffey Jr. had a couple of knocks score. Why? Two run double. 4 1. Sox. John Danks then. GRA against the Rays this season less than two. 1.86. That's why. Akinori Iwamura. Sorry. Later in the fifth. BJ Upton. Upton goes down. Top six after a leadoff walk. Danks. Carl Crawford. And paints the inside corner for the strikeout. Willie Ibar. What do you got? Well, you don't want to look at it. I'm not sure he can hit that. The cutter swinging a miss. Danks cruising through sixth. Let us go to the seventh. Tampa, runner on, trailing 5-1. B.J. Upton crushes this one. He's not looking there, not swinging a miss. And two-run homer. First homer in 18 games in his career against Chicago. It's 5-3. Carlos Pena then ropes a single to right, and that's going to do it for Danks. Six and two-thirds, seven hits, seven Ks. That's a quality start. Javio Dotel in against Evan Longoria. A couple of big hits in the first game, and look at that, 95 on the gun. Dotel ramping it up there, best he's thrown it all season. Thanks, Hux Dotel, yeah, we are brothers in arms. Top eight, Pat Thornton on for Chicago. Iowa strikes out swinging, ball gets away. Thornton picks it up, flies the hard tag. Yeah, it, it, October, yes, tempers run hot, but in this case, good sportsmanship. You don't want to have anything dumb happen there. Top nine, Bobby Jenks freezes. Carlos Pena with the deuce. White Sox win at 5-3. Game four will take place Monday. And look, Cubs insults as well. So good day all around if you're a Sox fan. So now the Rays have their first postseason loss in franchise history, and that's a good experience. You want to see all sides of this thing. Sox win their fourth straight home playoff game. Matt Garza, 0-3 in his last half dozen starts. And Danks, 2-5 in his last nine starts, but wins two games this week. Playoff game against the Twins to get the Sox in the postseason, and then Sunday's game three. Beat the White Sox in game four. Carlos Pena invites you into the circle of fire for a test of wills and strength. Top one, one out for B.J. Upton. He sends Gavin Floyd's fastball over the wall. Solo shot. That is Upton's second career homer against the White Sox. Now he's hitting 394, but only his second career homer. The other one came Sunday, one nothing race. Bottom one, same score. A.J. Krasinski appears to get good wood on that. That is going deep. Gabe Gross at the fence. Good leap. He's got it. Nothing but a long out. But we look at it again. If he doesn't get that, probably off the top of the wall for two and maybe into the bullpen for a run. Rays lead stays one zip. Upton again in the third off Floyd. This guy hit 253 off fastballs during the season. Turns another one around. Second homer of the game. Upton fourth major leaguer here in the postseason for the multi-homer game. When Goria's teammate did it as well. Top four car Crawford. Lines one to left field. That's his first knock of the series. He's 0 for 12 before that. Crawford coming home all the way around to score. It's 3 0 Rays. Boyd take third on the throw. Next batter, Deanna Navarro. Up with the infield drawn in. So you don't need anything fancy, anything far. Just, yeah, a little duck snort through. Off it goes. 4 0 Rays. Ozzy again, then with Cole Floyd after the single. He goes three and he's pitched four earned. We'll pat the behind. We'll get him. Got a lot of time left. Later in the game, Clayton Richards. Jason Bartlett flares one to shallow center. Here comes Junior. Ken Griffey Jr. Still playing mean defense on this one. Very impressive grabs. The Sox keep it at 4-0. Still six turns at bat to make up that deficit. 
Paul Canerco, home half of the fourth with two away off starter Andy Sonnenstein. Seventh postseason homer for him. That's tops in Sox history. Makes it 4-1 in the sixth. Jermaine Dye gets another one back. Makes it 5-2, his first homer in the postseason. We go to the seventh. Runners on first and second. One out. Matt Thornton now on the bump. 0-2 to Carlos Pena. That is called a ball. Ozzie Guillen does not agree. Thought it was strike three out number two. Bad words and bubblegum expelled from Ozzie's mouth at this point. Later in the bat then, Pena lines a single to right. Jason Bartlett will come in to score. 6-2 Rays. And now it is getting late. In fact, let's take it to the ninth. Grand ball for on the hill for the Rays. Ken Griffey Jr. at the dish to close it out. And the Rays win it 6-2, take the series in four games. Out they come to celebrate. Of course, fine champagne for everyone. My tempestuous dolt. The Rays, 97 regular season wins. Three more in the ADLs. Uh, that's an even hundred. First and second, the AL East meet to represent the AL in the World Series. Now, up to no home, as I said, uh, against the White Sox in his first 17 games, both regular season and postseason. Now he's got three in two days. The top three hitters in the race lineup go seven for 13 with four ribeye socks. Top three, one for 10. And the bullpen, awfully salty for Tampa Bay. One run in 11 and two-thirds innings during the series.